So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today we have some exciting news. They have dropped a teaser trailer for a brand new raid coming as well as a brand new PAL looking absolutely incredible. We also talk about today guys that the game may be coming to PlayStation, maybe even Nintendo as well via a new article that was um, dropped by Bloomberg talking about the CEO of pocket pair looking for new partnerships and expanding this game beyond steam and xbox we also talk about today guys you having a chance to test this content out for pocket pair themselves so that's something you're into stay tuned as well as guys we take a look at and we feel guys the expansions in regards to the map size and what the map could indeed look like at the end of the day. Let's go people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so earlier this morning, Pal World tweeted out saying, Attention Pal Tamers, a powerful evil pal has appeared and is laying siege to the Palpagus Islands. Only the most skilled Pal Tamers stand a chance against her. Power World's first raid, Balanor, is coming soon. And check this out on screen now. This power looks pretty cool too. And we're also seeing some very, very interesting things we will quickly talk about in a quick second. So check this out, people. So yes guys, new pal and raid battle, Balanor. Now this looks pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Now this power does look like a little bit of a mix between a couple of other powers we have in the game. It reminds me a lot of Lylene and Lylene not. Uh, what we've seen here guys, you tell me. But we also see meteors falling down beyond the actual uh, power here. Now is this something that's just a interaction we see when we access this new raid? Or is it something else coming through the map? I don't know. We also see guys that to actually start this raid battle, you need this kind of like big crystal sort of thing. This is something I believe we'll have to farm for. If you've ever played Ark or you have to collect the artifacts to summon a boss fight, that kind of how this reminds me. So I think this crystal, whatever it is, it may be a combination of things we have to do, acquire to actually create this crystal to fight this new raid boss. Now, can we also catch this raid boss? I'd my guess would probably be yes. It's not a tower boss, it's a raid boss. I think we will be able to catch this thing. Now, another interesting thing is this is the raid boss of Palpagus Islands, the island we currently have right now. But we also know that new islands are coming too. They've confirmed that in the roadmap, and we'll talk about that in a quick second, people. But yes, very, very interesting to say the least. I knew it wouldn't be long before we started seeing new things coming from the game because the game is starting to dry up now. I think they know that. I think they realize that. So yeah. Now, if you guys are a part of their official Discord, you probably would have noticed that you have now the opportunity to play test this game and its new content for the devs. They actually made a post in the announcements tab of their Discord stating this. It's from Bucky, by the way. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. Currently, we have some exciting new content lined up, but we are looking for players who can help us test these things and provide feedback about it. So we're opening the Power World testing program. If you're interested in testing future Power World updates, then please submit your application in the form below. Please note that the testing environment is very important for us to find and eliminate bugs and issues before releasing content to the public. So we would appreciate it if you only signed up if you're committed to the testing. The testing branch is not intended for free play or experiencing new content early. So we hope that only those of you genuinely interested in bug hunting and testing will apply and thank you. Now, if you ain't a part of the Discord, I'll link it down below, guys. Only if you're a serious playtester and you want to actually help them eliminate bugs, go for this. But again, if this is your thing, the Discord will be linked down below. 
Okay, so last night, guys, we got a new bit of information from the actual CEO of Pocket Pair. His name is Takua Mazobi, I believe that's how it's pronounced. He actually uh, did an article with Bloomberg where he talks about many, many things and about the future of the game. Now, the full article I will link down below if you want to read through it all, but the most important part to me is the insinuation that this game may be coming on other platforms including playstation and possibly even nintendo but i'm not sure about that okay so part of this actual uh, post a part of this article it states for now pocket pair is content to remain an independent studio and maintain the intimacy of its small team the company is in talks to bring power world to more platforms beyond steam and game pass and it'd be open to consider offers for partnership or acquisition they're actually considering being bought out so hey big wallet boys out there if you want to purchase the rights to possibly one of the biggest games of 2024 and evolve upon what could be one of the greatest games ever created well now sure chance but hey microsoft sony they ain't gonna listen to me but you guys know what i'm talking about this is absolutely massive, but hey, it may not even be just Xbox or Sony. It could be a game developer we have right now. Please not EA. Please not EA. It could be anybody, guys. Purchase this. Purchase Pocket Pair's new baby and evolve up on it. Well, we will see, guys. We will see. It's not likely for now, but it's something that could come or happen in the future. So, yeah. And lastly, guys, I just want to theorize on the current map we have in power world now we know that new content is coming we know that new islands are coming to this game but what exactly does that mean now it's been theorized that that tree you see on this map is the actual center of the entirety of what the map will be eventually when it's all opened up so if that is the center guys that means we should have at least four quarters to this map if it is a big circle which it's believed to be Therefore, guys, the current island we have now is only one fourth, possibly even smaller. It could be even one eighth of the entirety of what this map could eventually be if that tree is the center, which it's believed to be. Now, again, it's been confirmed that new islands are coming, but to what scale these islands will be, we just do not know. Is it going to be a small expansion to the island we currently have? Is it going to be an entirely new island? We just do not know. But remember from the early gameplay trailers we seen of this game, we saw us being transported to a completely new island by this giant pal. A pal we currently see bones of in the game right now. So yeah, make your own conclusion to this. But if that tree is the center, then it's going to be quite a big map once it's fully opened up. But who know, guys? Just a little bit of theorizing from an image I saw quite a while back. I actually lost the image. I found it again on Twitter the other day. And that's what you're seeing on screen now. This is just obviously custom made. This is fan art. This isn't legit, but it's what it could indeed look like. But hey. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me your thoughts on the new power and the power raid coming soon down below. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.